What's up guys? This is Ian back today with another video. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about what does my current training look like. So this is a bit different. This isn't a question and answer video but I just wanted to shed some light on what my current training looks like in this quarantine. So as a note just to preface this video um, out in California here all the gyms are at least in my area of California, in Alameda County, all the gyms are still closed to COVID. So, yeah, just keep that in mind when I when I talk about this. Um, this is my training with limited resources. Let's get into it. So, for my pushing exercises, I've been doing ring dips and push-up variations. So, I'll do just your regular push-ups. Uh, I'll do feet elevated push-ups at an angle. Um, I'll, I'll do handstand push-ups with my feet on a wall, so vertical push-ups. Um, I have some light weights, so occasionally I will do overhead pressing, although I don't have a lot of weight, so I can't really load progress very well. Um, I've definitely lost some weight uh, since quarantine hit, but you know I'm just staying optimistic and I've shifted my goals more from uh, progressing my my gym lifts to focusing more on calisthenics and yeah focusing more on different goals so I'll do things like handstand push-ups one-handed push-ups um, and ring dips as well as um, I've been working on the planche progressions so I'll do uh, tuck planche holds and um, tuck planche push-ups as well um, so yeah that's most of the pushing exercises that I do. So for the pulling exercises, I'll do a combination of pull-ups, chin-ups, horizontal body rows on gymnastic rings, as well as some high repetition rows with dumbbells or barbells. So I, I also do rows as well with light weights. Um, I, I don't really have access to a lot of weights, so it's hard for me to load progress that, but I, I just do it for large amounts of volume. I will also do tuck lever holds and uh, some tuck lever body rows on gymnastics rings as well. There's a, a tree somewhat near um, to where I live. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of my ring workout videos that I post there. I can add YouTube videos, uh, tutorials on all these different exercises as well in the future. All right. So moving on, the leg exercises that I've been doing during this quarantine, uh, I've been doing walking lunges, split squats, with the rear foot elevated, so the Bulgarian split squat. Um, and then for the posterior chain, I've been doing good mornings and one leg hip bridges, mostly. I do good mornings with either some weights or uh, I'll put like a band under my feet and over the back of my neck and I'll do good mornings like that. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that as well. And then I also do um, one leg hip bridges, so different variations of hip bridges um, as well. For the core exercises, for the abs, I'll do things like L-sits, reverse crunches, uh, planche leans, tuck lever holds, and side planks, as well as the upside down deadlift on, on the gymnastics rings. So that's pretty much most of the exercises that I've been doing since quarantine struck, you know, I really do enjoy being at the gym and it, it, it's very unfortunate not being able to be there. And, um, obviously all of my lifts have gone down. I've definitely lost uh, a good amount of weight. It's been uh, several months since I was able to resistance train consistently. So yeah, you know, take that for what you will. You, you have to do, you, you, it's good to do something. Um, so yeah, how do I organize this throughout the week? I organize it into two upper body days and two lower body days. So on upper body day one, 
it'll be mostly dips, uh, pull-ups, and body rows on rings. So I'll just do a whole ring workout. And then at the end, I'll throw in some exercises like the upside down le deadlift, um, the tuck lever holds, and maybe some body weight curls with the gymnastics rings. Lately, I've also been throwing in different variations, um, doing the body weight rows with the false grip and doing the chin-ups with the false grip um, to strengthen the forearms. I, I watched a lot of tutorials and I, I wanted to be able to do um, ring muscle-ups because in the, in the past I've been able to do um, straight bar muscle-ups, but I found that ring muscle-ups require a great amount of forearm strength in order to maintain that that false grip position on the rings through the pull. Um, a lot of gymnast gymnasts and CrossFit athletes will say that it's all just about the turnover, but I, I do find that to do a ring muscle up, it requires much more forearm strength than I currently have. I can do many pull-ups and dips, but that turnover part and maintaining the bent wrist, um, it takes a lot more forearm strength then you might develop just from doing a normal routine of body weight exercises. So if you're just starting off doing uh, pull-ups and dips and just calisthenics in general, and you do have an eventual goal of wanting to be able to do the ring muscle-up, start working in those false grip exercises. So start doing the false grip body weight rows, false grip pull-ups if you can tolerate that much weight on the forearm. Um, and strengthening your forearms now is going to go a long way so you don't have to go back and do it later um, because you, you might find that you're able to amass the prerequisite, you know, lat strength and pec strength. Maybe you can do a ton of dips and pull-ups, but if your forearms are too weak to sustain that wrist position in the turnover phase of the ring muscle-up, you're just going to have to wait until your forearms catch up with the rest of your body. So, yeah, just keep that in mind if you're watching this now start training your forearms before you, you hit that point where I'm at now. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, moving on to the upper body day two, upper body day two is going to be push up variations. So just regular push ups on the ground, uh, handstand push ups. Maybe I'll just put my feet up on, uh, on a tree or a wall. If I can't find a good wall, I'll use a tree. And then I'll do high rep rows with uh, some light weights that I have, and then a handful of different curls, maybe some delt raises with some weights that I have as well. Um, so that's what my upper body day two might look like. As well as on upper body day two, that's what, where I'll throw in most of my, my planche leans and uh, tuck planche push-ups on parallettes. So most of the planche progressions I'll throw on upper body day two because on upper body day one, I'm pretty fatigued from upper body day one is where I'm going to put most of my lever progressions and, and dips and other things like that, that I would do on rings because I can do all of those things all at once on rings on a tree. And if you notice on upper body day two, those are all things that you can do without rings or just at home. Um, just doing push-ups on the ground with some parallettes. You can easily build parallettes out of PVC pipe. Um, you can build a set of parallettes for $20, 20 US dollars. Um, if you go to an Ace Hardware and you're nice to them, they might even, and you bring them the, a list of specifications and sizes, they'll cut the PVC pipes down to size and you can buy all the joints and everything all together for $20. Um, they'll cut them for free depending on the store and where you go, where you live. At my local store, they cut them for free, um, and out the door is twenty dollars or a little bit less. Um, so that was that was a very nice, cheap way to get a set of parallettes. All right. So yeah, upper body day two, more just the at home day. All right, and then for my leg days, on one of the days, it'll be a series of walking lunges and good mornings, maybe hip bridges at the end, and then the other day will be split squats, maybe some Romanian deadlifts for a really high high volume, just with lighter weights. Typically you do want more weight when you do Romanian deadlifts. Um, the way that I'll do them is I'll go pretty slow on the way down, maybe two or three second eccentric, 
then I'll have a very fast concentric portion, making sure to slow down as I approach the top uh, so I don't overextend or anything. I have done RDLs for a really long time, so I'm pretty used to it by now. But I, I, when, I, when I've been doing the RDLs with a limited amount of weight, I'll focus on spending a long time on the eccentric portion, on the down portion, and then on the up portion or the concentric portion, I'll try to have a very fast rate of force production. So I'll accelerate the weight relatively quickly. And I found that's a pretty decent way of getting some training effect with limited weight. Now, I'm not going to pretend that it's uh, comparable to having, you know, unlimited access to weights or, you know, access to specific weights at a gym. Um, obviously, that is still superior. And... Yeah, I'll throw in a, a handful of different ab exercises on the leg days and the upper body days. Uh, if you want any more clarification on any of these particular exercises and the rationale behind why I'm choosing them over other exercises, uh, just let me know. And hopefully that was useful. Um, this has been most of my exercise selection throughout quarantine and how I've organized it. You know, the organization is always subject to change. Um, if you're working out with a friend or going somewhere and you want to, you know, be more accommodating for other people, sometimes these things change. Um, but, yeah, that that is what it is on average. If you've noticed, it's been raining ash, so I just want to give a quick thank you to all the first responders out there putting out all the fires around California. Um, yeah, we're, we're lucky to have... Uh, people risking their lives to help keep us safe. So uh, thank you to all of them. And if you made it this far in the video, make sure you like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, share it with your friends. If they ask what my exercise routine is or if you follow me on Instagram, uh, thank you again. And yeah, if you want any clarification or a specific tutorial on any one of these exercises or progressions that I mentioned, uh, drop a comment down below and I'll make a video with commentary and demonstrating the exercises uh, to help give you some pointers on how to perform these exercises. All right, thank you. Have a great day.